Thanks for the personal delivery. Appreciate it. Hey, it's your girl Andrea. I'm hiding behind this because it's a little bit windy and the audio is gonna suck otherwise. And we're gonna go clean the bale processor. So come along for that fun. Got my recording stick, which the dogs wanna chase, but it's not terrible right here actually with the wind, so we'll see. But tis another day in the Midwest, I guess, with the wind. It is 50 degrees today, so the only reason I'm wearing my bibs is because it gets dirty and dusty, so I'll probably end up taking off my coat, but <clears throat> I'm not complaining at all that it's nice out. There she is, there she is. Let's see how that is. Obviously there's some on the back. You know, decent amount, but I've, I've done it worse before. So now we have the hot knife. Here's a hot knife, it just basically like melts it and then you can pull it down and out the bottom. Ta-da! Thanks. I need a cord too. You're slacking on your job. What? I need a cord too. I want everything. <laughs> Come on, Ness. Just, just cut it with the anvil. No, it's not fun. I used to do just a knife and it sucked. Start with all the outside stuff and then go in to the inside. Dad Gracie the other day, so we said we're good to go there. It's not hot enough yet. Uh, it's not terrible. It's like. Yeah, you're like to rotate it back and forth and grab something. Thanks for the personal delivery. Appreciate it. It's not as dusty now that it's out, but yeah. It's not for COVID, it's for dust. <laughs> it's what it's supposed to be for. <laughs> it's on fire, okay. We'll grab it up and put it. <laughs> not to burn up. There's really not that much in here, actually. There's like nothing. Sorry. No, it's fine. I'm just kind of going by the calendar kind of thing. But like, if it's it's nice though because it's not as many uh, corn stalks. It's just net wrap. So I don't think it will. Yep, this is something I could do, but I got somebody younger to do it. But I can't see a 65 or 70 year old guy jumping in here and doing this. Yeah. And I can't see that same guy using that tool I send with it. With a little knife cutting. Thing. That is a workout. Yeah. So now I just gotta loosen all these pieces. So off a little knives and such. What? It's like hotter than hot hot. What are you trying to burn out? The guy just unplugged it.
did it. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. She clean. We out. Yeah. <laughs> that is dustier than uh, cleaning up bins. I don't think it's like dirty beans bad, but it's pretty nasty stuff. Corn dust ain't got nothing on that. So I wore a mask. Last time I recorded this and shared it, I didn't. Some people got mad. We're good now. Hi, right, kids. Are you hiding? You guys are some dorks. That's my old lady Moonlight's grandbaby right there, 457. And there's another grandbaby in here, Ayla. So we did just get EPDs back on all our heifers that we tested, so we'll discuss that at some point. There's two heifers that we sampled. That baldy was sampled. And more that are laying down, having a good time in their life. But so if you missed my uh, EPD testing video, I'll link them on this little section here. You can watch it. But we are using it again for helping us select replacement heifers because it just gives us more confidence in those decisions. And the results we got back are pretty dang good <laughs> for some of these ladies, which is exciting. So. Good stuff, our crossbreeding is going well. And the bulls we're choosing for the cows is complimenting really well for the most part. So that's just nice to have that reassurance. Oh, you're such a tough lady. Hi. Want some? Would you like some? <laughs> you spit all of it out. And this, folks, is how you get tame cows all day, every day. Let it be known. She doesn't hate me all the time, guys. Let it be known. I, you have like seven. Oh, hey. This camera angle is kind of fun. We gotta make some milk for the kids. <laughs> Quick and short little video today. Showing you the powwow dirtiness of cleaning out the bale processor. I walked through all the calves, they all look good. The heater's on right now, so it's really loud. The calves look good. I went and messed with the cows, <laughs> made some friends. <laughs> we gotta try to bring in a couple tomorrow morning. Oh, these heifers are making me mad. We have two heifers, one of them is mine, one of them is my mom and dad's. Um, I just want to like smack them. I'm not going to because that's animal abuse and I don't abuse them. But <laughs> in my head mentally, I'm just like, you guys are idiots because they're still nursing off each other. And I just noticed like this week. So they're not doing it often, but it's enough that they're, they don't need to be producing milk. Their bodies need to rest and then they have to produce quality colostrum. So they got to sort two of them off. I tried to coax them in tonight. They didn't want to. Of course it's a trap, so they know it, but Start them off in tomorrow when they're hungry. Probably end up with more than them coming in. We have another coming first calf heifer. So hasn't had a calf yet. She's got a sore foot, so get her in as well. But we'll go do evening chores quick. And then uh, call her a good day. 
at least for outside stuff. I'll go do inside office work, but it's not exciting. Hi, Kato. ran out here real quick because it sounded like there's cows out. No, they're just having a WWE match. Oh, these dummies. Yep. The weather's nice. Fight club. But make it cows. That's what I was hearing and I was like, uh, what the heck. They had me so concerned, like, do I need to run and get the cows right now? Or like, what's happening? They're just dinking off. Good, I'm glad it was a false alarm. I'd rather worry and not have anything going on, to be honest. Once again, uh, it's getting dark out, so there's that. But I'm gonna go uh, check horses at our house, do some jails over there. But thanks for hanging with me. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.